Hello guys, welcome to another video. A few things to talk about here. I forgot to put some clips on the last video that I thought was in the video. Uh, I'll explain a little bit of what happens here. So, with the rev stuff, I piled so many clips. I think I had like 70 or something. That, yeah, it's really hard uh, to keep track, you know. That's my only excuse, but, you know, hopefully it's a good one. But, I do have them, and yeah, it's gonna be... You know, at the start of this video, I do have something else about revs, and it's going to be basically like the final installment of like the rev uh, arc, I suppose. Yeah, where we uh, actually cash in those emblems. Yeah, so that's gonna be great. But a large part of this video is gonna be about other stuff, other interesting things that happen. Uh, new mahogany homes, and also a new teleport item that honestly I didn't even know existed. Or I forgot about and it's super good for blue scrolls. So yeah, man look forward to this video. It's gonna be a pretty pretty good content At least I think so. Hope you enjoy Oh my god, I got the chain maze Holy balls Holy Holy balls Oh my god Holy shit <laughs> God damn, I actually got the weapon. Holy crap, the freaking maze, dude. Oh my god. Damn, dude. Uh, so that reaction was pretty close to the first cross drop that I unfortunately forgot to record. But oh, Jesus. That was nice. That was freaking nice. Okay, this time, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's recorded, boys. We got it. But anyways. Forget about that. That's that's not important right now. Let me show, show you. Oh, dude, how many KC, dude? I am so curious. 16k, 16.6. Honestly, like a thousand were M. So, you know, exclude that. 15.6. Oh my god, dude! I actually got lucky on a weapon completion. So the last thing I wanted to do for Revenants before I say goodbye to this place, and no, it's not collecting the like 200k totem or whatever it is, like. Yo, maybe if, you know, Jagex fixes revs, I might go back and actually solo and get that. But the actual thing I wanted to do, last thing, is to use up all my emblems. Uh, cash it in for the GP, of course. What's it gonna do? Sit in my bank, you know, just for collection? Of course not. We're gonna risk going to the wilderness and cash it in. But we're gonna be taking a calculator risk. I got two homies and, and a friend, I guess. Got my boy Mary J, Kenny RS, and uh, Olive. We're going to be going in at the same time to the Emblem Trader in the Bounty Hunter world. And yeah, just watch out for each other's backs real quick and uh, try to cash it in and dip. So right now, the game is about to get updated. So this is like the perfect time to risk cashing in the Emblems. Least amount of PK cares, I would assume. Uh, wow. I have 181 mil GP. <laughs> Wait, we're going now? Bandit camp? Bandit camp? Alright, cool, cool. Alright, yo, let's do it. <laughs> yo, what the... I am. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. 319. Budge. Alright, okay. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, peace out, boys. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. Yo, nice, <laughs> nice and quick, nice and quick. <laughs> We actually so look cool. so fucking thug. <laughs> look at the fucking gear we're running oh, around with. Oh I know, bro. God. I'm like, they're doing all this prep for like literally two seconds. <laughs> so what would I do with all the money? It's probably going to be spent on blood runes, as you have guessed. But who knows? You never know what happens in the future, so I might need it for something else. 
So recently, I was reminded about this really good teleport item that I could use for uh, Clue Scrolls, mainly. And it is the Liar. The Liar that you can get starting at the Freemitic Trials, they at some point decided to buff it. I don't know how many months ago it was, but they buffed it and you could turn it into a liar that has infinite teleports and can also take you to all of the Freemanic areas, including like Nades Not, like Jatizo and all that stuff. And there's a bunch of clue spots there. So if I could get that, that would be really nice because that's the only teleport that can directly send you to those places. There is a catch though. There is a catch. Getting it on an Iron Man is going to take quite a bit of time, but I'm going to be, you know, explain the progress towards getting it. So the first step to getting the Enchanted Lyre is to plant a lot of jutes. And from the jutes, I can get the jute fibers, which I can then turn it into drift nets. I will explain very soon what they're used for. Dude, this shit is so nostalgic, man. This part of the game, I haven't been here in centuries. God damn. When was the last time I've been around this area of Lumbridge? Oh my goodness, I remember this this area felt so big. Even though it is so small, dude. Okay. So, with this uh, juke grind, a quick simple tip that you can utilize in any farm run is honestly just end your day, you know, at the patch. So, I'm gonna choose the Entrana one because that one's super annoying. I have to like get rid of my cave and some stuff just to you know be able to travel here. So I'm gonna log out for the night and then wake up tomorrow and I'll still be here to you know harvest this patch and it'll save me some time. Oh wow okay so each net requires two fibers. If I want to make 300 I'm gonna have to get 600 fibers. That's not too hard. I can just get that done in like a day or two. Alright guys, so uh, I'm in the process of making some of the drift nets. Uh, yeah, so we make it 300 and I think this is the best spot for it. Just a fossil island. There's a bank nearby here, right at the center of the island. And there's the weave. This is really weird, bro. Honestly, in, in my decades of playing RuneScape, <laughs> I I rarely ever used the freaking weave straight up. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We're trying out some new content. All right, guys, I've done it. I think 300 is good enough. Um, yeah, I hope this is enough to get 200 Mansa Ray Raws and two, uh, Sea Turtles as well. But what else is that? Like bass too? I gotta get 200 bass. So, yeah, all right, well, we're gonna have to learn how to do drift net fishing. I hope it's not too hard. So the reason why I needed these drift nets is because I have to catch certain types of fish in order to actually imbue the liar. The fishes I need to catch are sharks, bass, manta rays, and sea turtles. Manta rays and sea turtles are really annoying to get on an Iron Man. You can uh, do fishing trawler, which will take a long time to get the amount that I need. Or I can do this thing called drift net fishing. I've never done it before, but from what I've gathered, I can get the 200 of each that I need within a matter of a few hours, which is a lot faster than the fishing trawler. So that's why we need these nets. Oh, wow. Shit. Okay, it looks like I, I've already caught all the base. But um, anyways, I just fished off of the fishing gill. That's, that was an easy... Easy spot to get to and bank. But yeah, now we just need to, let's see, I should have some raw sharks, right? Yep, now I just need to get the manta rays and the turtles from the drift net fishing. And we will be done. It's going to take a few hours, I heard, like two to three. So the flippers are going to be super useful for drift net fishing because I'm going to be underwater and running seems to be a really important part of the method. And what I noticed is that I can actually store these things in my house as well. So it's definitely worth getting because then whenever I need it again, I can just, you know, take it out of my house. Alright, might as well get the hat too. Because, uh, yeah, man, gotta just store it in the house because it's free. Alright, all right, let's go and uh, do some uh, drift net fishing. First time doing it. I'm kind of excited, man. Honestly, always down to learn some new stuff. 
So the drift net area is a small area underwater that is north of the seaweed patch. It requires 200 new mites to access for 24 hours I believe or until reset. So not too bad and uh, there's an NPC that can hold all the nets for you so that's really nice. So very little banking. So the minigame is super simple actually. There's two areas that you can place your nets and the whole goal is basically to prod the fish into the nets until it gets full which is 10 and once it's full you just uh, loot it and bank the stuff and you'll get some mantas and a cool thing is a trine of the seas actually makes the prodding a lot faster so i brought that as well so so after getting the hang of this method i was getting some really banger xp race 50k fishing and 65,000 plus hunter experience an hour and you can get a lot more probably at least 20 percent more if you were like super good at this but yeah that's actually really decent training method so if you guys are looking for something like a little clicky and whatnot, this is definitely something to think about. Actually on my final hour of catching the manta rays and stuff like that, I was actually rocking 56k fishing experience an hour and 75k hunter experience an hour. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of, of room for improvement XP wise. It's really good. Come on, come on. Come on, last, last fish, get in the net. Boy, get in the net. Alright, thank you. All right, here we go. Turtle. Yes, the last turtle, boys. Only took me approximately uh, two and a half hours. But yeah, I think I used about close to 200 uh, drift nets. There you go. Okay. Had to make the best one to store all this stuff, but nice. I got the flippers there for uh, any, any, any time in the future. I need to go underwater, you know, grinding some drift net fishing or something. So let's see if she can just permanently um, fix my stuff. Oh, ask about permanent liar enchantment. But for you, I would have you offer me 200 raw sharks. Got that. Manta rays, sea turtles, and raw base. I got that. Okay, let's do it, man. Present the offering. Alright boys, we got ourselves a nice uh, clue here, and this clue is telling us to go to Natus Knot. Luckily we have ourselves the Liar, where we can teleport straight to Natus Knot with unlimited number of charges. So that's uh, really nice. Okay, where's the guy? Over here. Perfect clue scroll item, guys. Perfect clue scroll item. Alright guys. We are at Amy here because there's something interesting that I kind of want to get. I heard it doesn't take too long. So I thought, hey, might as well check some new updates and uh, see what's up. Let's get the best one. I'm trying to get the Amy saw. Uh, there we go. Rewards. I can show you now. Yeah, this saw is wheelable, so that's sick. I'm sure, it will come in handy at some point. And it's only, yeah, three or four hours to get. So might as well have some fun with this. So the Mahogany Homes is a new activity for construction that's decent con XP and not as expensive as traditional con. And it's really straightforward, it's like Slayer Task. You talk to the NPC Amy and she'll tell you to fix a house in either Falador, Varrock, uh, Hostidius, or Artie. All you gotta bring is the appropriate planks and some steel bars and of course teleports to the area. So for me, I use NPC contacts so I can save some time talking to her physically. And also the diary cape coming in really clutch ever since they made this thing have infinite teleports. It's super nice for this type of activity and for a bunch of other things as well. But yeah, I've been using it to teleport to Varrock and uh, Artie for certain tasks. It's really handy. Yeah, that's actually really close. Wow. The achievement diary cape is coming in handy for these house contracts. Definitely the Varrock one. The Varrock one's really good. North of the church, in that case, I feel like this might be closer. Yeah, it's actually not bad, actually. This this still has a use. This teleport with the diary cape still has a use. Because it's like the same distance using the Arty Teleic. This is my last task for 500 points. Yes, here we go. Alright. Yes, task done. 500 points, cool. Okay, let's... Go and get ourselves that nice saw. Amy's saw. Alright, so I'm gonna pause the, the XP prior. Okay, 
Man, XP power is pretty good. 190k an hour. And that's not using the uh, sack because I don't have one. But yeah, that's like easily 200k with that, I guess. Alright, so... Amy saw. Let's buy it. Confirm. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Nice, we got the wieldable saw. We don't need these shitty saws. We only need... Now I just need uh, some sexy tools of these other versions. Wieldable hammer, chisel, you know. Wieldable everything. But yeah, it's nice to have. Nice. Yeah, that was a perfect Laura. I got those guys. I baited all the parasites to go to my far pillar. And we got a lot of free hits before they could do anything, so... Oh shit, you know, I should probably mention this, but uh, they did update Dark Graceful. And now, nobody can really meme about the fact that it's graceful, like, you know, with the gray in there, but yeah, it's, it's just never gonna be gray. Yo, someone told me this really uh, cool uh, trick that I can do. I only have one extra Pharaoh Scepter, so I can't really deposit this, or else I can't get here fast, but look. I can just store the armor, and I can just keep the uh, staff. This is actually so sick, because I just saved myself three bank spaces, and this step will be a lot less aids. Hydra, easy. We already got the Hydra task. I gotta get ready for Corp, and uh, what good way than to kill some Hydra for the pet chance and some Astros for Corp. Oh, I just got a jar of chemicals. Let's go, let's go. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have that on here. I got dragon knives! Alright, tell me if I have this jar or not. Oh, I don't! Yes! Holy crap, nice. I, got, I remember getting that shit in Twisted League. Yo, Grotesque Guardian, Skeletizo, Kelfi Queen, and Kraken. Holy shit, I'm only missing three jars in this account. That's actually insane. So, going forward, I'm going to be bringing the regen bracelet to Hydra just because. The only difference between that and like something like Barrel's Gloves is just accuracy. And I'm already so accurate, it doesn't really matter anymore. But the thing is, the regen bracelet allows me to stack the HP regen passive with the max cape for 4 HP a minute instead of 2. So that means if I stay here for like an hour, I will be getting back 240 HP instead of 120 that I normally would get. And that's really nice because I hate counting. And I will make mistakes, and sometimes you don't get food, so the passive 120 is gonna come in clutch. Alright, here we go. HP is about to regen. Oh, nice. That's awesome, man. This Hydro Task was sick. We got jar of chemicals. We got two leathers, uh, one ring piece, and a thrown axe, and of course, 3,000 plus Astro Runes to boots. For some Corporal Beasts, you guys want to guess why I'm going back to Corporal Beasts? Mm -hmm. In the next video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. If you do have Amazon Prime, you can actually support my work financially for free by going on my Twitch channel and subscribing using Twitch Prime. Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.